from the project view in the TIA portal project, expand the HMI and screens listings in the project tree. Double click the screen to be edited. Either select the element to be animated or, as in the example, drag and drop the desired element onto the screen. With the element highlighted, select the Properties tab in the Configuration area, and then select the Animations tab. Double click Add New Animation and select the type of animation you would like, in this case, horizontal movement. Click OK to confirm. We must now define the process tag to associate the movement with, the count value in the example. With the tag defined, we must enter the correct value range for the tag. And set the screen positioning for the motion. With the movement configured, we will add an appearance animation as well. Select the Appearance option and click OK to confirm. We will link the appearance animation to the count value as well. With the tag defined, we can now set up the ranges for changing the appearance of our object and the changes that will occur. Note that the range background has turned red, indicating a problem with the range entered. In this case, an extra 1 was entered in the value, causing the value to be out of the defined range. This must be corrected for the animation to compile and perform correctly. When the configuration is complete, we can test the operation to assure it is correct. Select the highest level HMI element in the project tree, and then click the simulation icon from the main menu bar. The Somatic WinCC Runtime Advanced window opens. Switch to the proper screen. The new object is present on the screen. Let's test the animation by resetting the count. The animated object moved to the right with the increase in the count value and moves to the left as the count decreases.
At the configured set points, the object changes color. We have successfully inserted and configured an animated object into our HMI screen.